and that just it just makes you look bad because like damn, you know what I'm saying? But I understand what you're going through because what happened was let's just tell the truth, big home. You fell in love with the bitch. You can rock out, you know what I'm saying, however you want to rock out, whatever, like, I don't know what you got going on, but you fell in love with a bitch. Like, you don't beat no bitch you don't love, that's just real talk. Podcast. I am. Oh shit. Oh lord. All right. Sorry about that. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I am Al Conseco, and this is Are You Serious? If you ain't went to the PayPal yet, make sure you go to the PayPal. Shout out to everybody who's donated. St. Louis, Virginia, all of Memphis, Montgomery. Um, I don't want to forget nobody. I be feeling so fucking bad. All of my niggas and bitches in AO Nation, I salute y'all heavily. We got to talk to big homie Tato. Tato, I know what you're going through, big homie. I went through that shit when I was like 24 years old. Like when your bitch leave you for, you know what I'm saying? Like she got down, she didn't chose up. Like she chose another nigga, whatever like that. The fucked up part about it is like your shit is televised. And it's always hard. Like, y'all got to understand like just because like niggas is on at the forefront, that don't mean they ain't just regular niggas. Like, niggas is regular niggas and shit like that. Like, be fucking for real. If you know your bitch ain't shit and she go talk to a nigga that you know, like, is got way more than you got, you know what the fuck she doing. You know your bitch. You know what your bitch doing to this nigga. You know what the fuck going on. Who ain't gonna beat they bitch the fuck up? Come on, big homie. Let's just be serious. So before that whole, but the whole thing is, See, Tato, you got to be careful with that putting your hands on a bitch shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, be careful with that shit right now because they got Bill Cosby. They trying to kill R. Kelly. It's a real deal war on masculinity and black men are the main fucking target. So you better hope and wish that all you get out this shit is a little bit of, you know what I'm saying? You just lost your hoe. That's all good because these bitches might pick the case up. All kind of shit going on. You know what I'm saying? Just let that little hoe go. The bitch name is Cuban doll. Like, you know that hoe ain't about nothing, at home. You knew that hoe wasn't about nothing and you just enjoyed having her because she was like the baddest thing, you know what I'm saying, for you on your level. Like, you like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and he like, you know what I'm saying? So that's just what the fuck it is. That's why I keep telling you niggas why you out this whole trying to flaunt a bitch or flaunt your money, as long as you're flaunting something that someone else can get, you'll never be the big dog. What you need to bring to the table is you, something that a, a person can't never get from nowhere else. This is what, see, when I was pimping, I was 22 years old, like you have niggas, niggas always like the old niggas and, and niggas in general, when they fucking your bitch, like they pay you whatever like that, but while they fucking your bitch, what they really paying you for, it's time with the hoe. Because the nigga know that all he need is time with a bitch. And if a nigga got a, a mouthpiece like that, you know what I'm saying? He can take your bitch with enough time talking to her. Nigga gonna sell her a dream. You know what I'm saying? It's all about if she gonna buy it. And a nigga will enhance that sale by showing her more money, showing her more pills, showing her more weed, showing her more coke. If that hoe hit the bag, if she smoke weed, if she pop pills, or she just a money hungry bitch, then she gonna go for it. It's about who got the most of whatever she want. That's why what you gotta have her addicted to is you. Not no status, not no nothing else. But you have to understand if whatever reason your bitch is with you, if someone has more of that than you, you lose her. And even you, you can. I know that I could have lost my bitch if a nigga would have came through and he was like, uh, you know, the, the leader of Trio fam, it, at that point in time, like, it was, I was kind of like the head of my niggas, whatever like that. Like, because at that time, that's the skit we was running. Like, me and my niggas, we'll run skits like, we'll make it look like a nigga was, you know what I'm saying, that nigga, whatever like that. We all broke, goddamn, but shit, we're going to make it look like 
somebody gonna win here. So whatever we gotta do to, you know what I'm saying, make the plan work, we'll run that. You know what I'm saying? Cause we know a bitch mind ain't that, you know what I'm saying? You know a bitch mind ain't that fucking big. A nigga mind ain't number this big, so you know a bitch mind ain't number, you know what I'm saying? So it ain't that hard to trick a bitch. How many times you didn't trick the hoe to make her think you got something? Like, it's not that hard. You got a, a, your nigga, you can wear your homeboy pair of true religions and get one of your other homeboys to let you hold his money in a picture, whatever like that, and your Facebook, your social media done went through the moon. You ain't got a car in the first, but no, it's an these bitches just, oh, you can tell a hoe all this shit in the shop, whatever like that, and you riding. So it's nothing wrong with running your skits, but just understand that if you got her off of that, you can lose her just the same way if a nigga got, you know what I'm saying, if he got that for real. And you know that, so that's why you beat the bitch up because you knew, you know what I'm saying? So what you try to do is gorilla pimp and like, bitch, you better stay away from that nigga. And that just, it just make you look bad because it's like, damn, you know what I'm saying? But I understand what you're going through because what happened was, I just tell the truth, big home, you fell in love with the bitch. You can rock out, you know what I'm saying, however you want to rock out, whatever, like, I don't know what you got going on, but you fell in love with the bitch. Like, you don't beat no bitch you don't love. That's just real talk. I'm just gonna speak to you. You don't beat no bitch you don't love. Now, I mean, y'all can say what the fuck y'all wanna say, but you don't touch no bitch you don't love. That's just what the fuck it is. Because if you don't love her, you gotta, like, I don't give a fuck what you do, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck ever? This bitch wasn't working for you, bitch, home. You love that bitch. So, I don't know what kind of game y'all playing, but I know that Cuban doll ain't no marrying wife type bitch, and you knew that from the jump. You knew that from the jump. So the reason why you looking fucked up out here is because you fell in love with a bitch that you knew wasn't shit. So now you a simp. Now you lame. You lame for that. Any nigga that fall in love with the bitch we just ran a train on is lame. That's just what the fuck it is, big dog. You fall in love with the bitch who was holding you down in high school, whatever like that, because that's a bitch that you raised up. You raised this hoe. So when she get out of line, the fuck wrong with you, hoe? The fuck, bitch, I raised you, bitch? The fuck you mean? The fuck in the car. Bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, you can run that with a hoe you raised from high school, but not no hoe that came in with her own swear. Like, if she came in and gave you a list of shit that you got to do to keep her, whether it was directly or indirectly, that's not your bitch, big home. You rent her. I don't I don't need to have to tell you niggas this, because I know the niggas in Chirac, I know y'all know what y'all doing and shit like that, but this ain't no good look. So we're going to have to do some damage control and shit like that. Four, six, nine, go. This ain't on him. This ain't on him. And everybody, we all know it ain't on six, nine. He ain't do shit wrong. He just a nigga. The situation is between this bitch and the nigga who love him. That's what it's about. Six, nine could have been anybody. Six, nine could have been Wayne, Drake, yada, 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 yada. Anybody. You know what I'm saying? So what you need to understand is you're not going to be able to beat that bitch into compliance. Because you're going to have to keep beating on the bitch you might eventually kill the hoe. So you're going to lose your freedom. And that's going to, you know what I'm saying? Like you're looking crazy right now. So play it off. You was on Molly. Whatever you got to do, whatever like that. But let that shit go. Let that hoe go. You don't even got to talk bad about it. Because you are because we already know you love the hoe. It is what it is. Lick your wounds in silence. Let this shit go. And we're going to leave it like that. Do your thing, at home 69. Keep doing you, big dog. I'll see y'all niggas in a minute. Make sure y'all go to the PayPal. Shout out to AO Nation for donating. Y'all niggas donate. Make sure you subscribe. Love, love, love. Big Facts Podcast. YouTube. It's going down.